how to use minecraft shaders with fabric first of all just make sure you know the current version of fabric you have which you could also find on the minecraft launcher just click on this and see the latest version so i do have 1.21.5 right now if you don't have fabric installed don't worry i'll show you how to do it so what you have to do firstly is you're gonna have to open up a browser then once you open up a browser just search up sodium fabric once you search up sodium fabric make sure you click on the first option right here where it's at Corge forge now from here you're gonna have to just make this big go to files so i'm using this one right here where it's at sodium 0.611 for fabric as you guys can see you can find the game mode right here 121.5 this is the latest version for my one and it's at fabric right here make sure you remember that now from here you're gonna have to find the ones so obviously if this is an old one for you do not use this make sure you have the latest one just see the version and everything so the latest one should be on top but for me i'm using this one right now because it's the latest one for me 121 click on the three dots then click on download file then it should take a while just wait till it downloads right here as you guys can see it's downloading and then it just finished downloading as you guys can see right here now you're gonna have to go and get the next mod which is gonna be iris so just go and search up iris fabric then once you find the ones, so I found it right here, it should be the second option. This is what's going to help you to run shaders. Now from here, you're going to have to click on files again. And you're going to find the same thing we did like last time. You're going to have to find the game version you have and make sure it's that fabric right here. So I found mine right here. As you guys can see, it said iris, fabric, 121.5. Make sure it all matches. Once again, just go over here, click on the three lines and click on download file again. Then just wait again a few minutes. As you guys can see, it just downloaded again. Now from here, what you have to do is just go back, click on Course Force, the logo right here. Search for a game, click on Minecraft. Now from here, you're going to have to search up Shaders. And you have a lot of options you can choose from, but we want this one right here, Complementary Shaders. Just click on that. Click on Files. Now from here, just scroll down. Now from here, we do the same one. So 1.21.5, as you guys can see right here. Just click on the three signs. Again, click on Download. And just wait till it downloads again. Now, as you guys can see, it just downloaded right here. Now, what you have to do is you're going to have to go and search up again Minecraft Fabric. And once you search up Minecraft Fabric, just click on the first one. Just click on Download option right here. Click on Download from Windows. Click on Download from Windows. Now, what you're going to do is just subtract this. Subtract this again. Go to your files. Go to Downloads. And as you guys can see, we just downloaded this for right here. So, I'm going to just drag this and just put it over here to make it easier just for ourselves. Now, you're going to have to open back up Minecraft. Click on installations and as you can see you have the fabric loader right here so i have it right here 1.21.5 as you guys can see now what you're gonna have to do is just click on this little file option right here after play just click on that now from here you're gonna have to scroll down and find the mod option so as you can see right here i found it just click on that so what you gotta do from here is i already have it but if you don't you're gonna have to put your iris fabric right here sodium right here your fabric installation also right here then once you put all this in here, what you got to do, just go back on Minecraft, click on play on right here on the fabric option. Now, as you guys can see, I am in Minecraft. All you got to do is just click on options right here. Click on video settings. Now it looks a little different once you download the Minecraft shaders. So just click on shader pack right here. I already have it enabled, but most of you guys should have it disabled. Then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to have to just put this down again. Just drag this file right here and just put it over here. Then once you do that, just select it, make this big again. Now just click on apply. Then once you do that, done it, click on done again, single player, then play selected world. Wait a few minutes. And I have now loaded in Minecraft. And as you guys can see, I do have the shader pack on. So this would have helped you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.